While I work on my PvP Hardcore Ironman plans and videos, I'm still always PKing for fun. Today's video features Deep Wilderness PKing, Tribert Staking in order to make money, as well as some solo PKing in 350ml risk. It's a different style of video, so I hope you guys enjoy, and without further ado, let's get into the content. Doing my daily sweep of Lava Maze, and I actually hopped into a guy in full arms and a staff of light. You usually don't see this out here, so when I find it, I have to go for it. So we were extremely aggressive right from the get-go there and I think we just hit like a 61.38 for like 99 HP and that's a lot of loot at 26 mil. Before we carry on, a quick word from the sponsor of today's video and something that I truly believe in, Opera GX. Opera GX is the first browser designed for gamers. The first impression is great as Twitch, Twitter, YouTube all look amazing on this browser. The browser itself has a great feature called GX Control, which is extremely useful as it allows you to control both your CPU and your RAM usage. The Twitch integration notifies you when your favorite streamers are live or when you get a follow, so it's great if you're a streamer or a viewer. There's also a sidebar for Discord and you can join the official Opera GX Discord to learn more about it. You can also customize your browser to look however you want by changing the colors and the wallpapers. Another feature is the network limiter that can limit your bandwidth to ensure that your games or your streams don't lag. Have a look at my task manager. Goodbye Google Chrome, hello Opera GX. On Opera GX, the GX Corner allows you to catch up with the best deals, the newest releases, and breaking game news all in one easily accessible place. Opera GX is completely free and comes with a built-in ad blocker which is pretty much amazing for any website. You guys can download it by clicking my special link in the description no matter what device you're on. Thank you for listening as these sponsors do really help out and thank you to Opera for sponsoring this video. Next up, we've got a tribrid stake for 100 mil. Now there is a big RNG factor in these, but I do them a lot and I think I'm pretty competent in them. And this is versus my friend Adam, who's a pretty good hybrid from another single team. Right down to the wire, only had 44 HP left, but we managed to get the 100 mil victory. I ran into what I think was a newbie team fight, and I just hopped on the guy with the biggest risk, who was this guy who had Arams and Dehyde. Oh, good fight. Well, that's an Arams kill. A doobie how a doobie. I saw AGS KO for 6 mil loot. Nice. Oh, no way, he was already praying. I hate that. Come on. Right. Damn, that was not the best hit. Oh, we could stack it into something though, 35. 28, he smited, come on. 35 barrage, is that a big kill? Please tell me he had an AGS. Bruh, he had a DDS. I got the Dragon Crossbow smite though. Next up were some tribrid stakes with Panic, who recently 3 1 to me in a video. Now, obviously, my ego can't take this, so I have to get myself some revenge. So I challenged him to do some 25 mil tribrid stakes versus me. So despite all his Opa Bolt specs, we managed to win the first one for 25 mil.
another 25 mil victory there, and I guess he only had 10 mil more on this main, so we did that as our last fight. And my ego is restored. We managed to win 3-0 up around 60 mil from two 25 mil stakes and one 10 mil. We did lose 20 mil to him, however, so fair play to him on that one. And we move on with the video. Good fights to panic. Dead? Good fight. That's exactly the type of kill we wanted, dude. GG, bro. I was streaming Max PKing and Volatile Staff, Ancestral, Arcane, etc., risking about 350 mil, and this one team kept stream sniping me. Now, while I was hopping around, I hopped into one of them without his team. Jesus, he doesn't do too well when his team's not around, huh? <laughs> He's staff specced! No way did he staff spec, bro. Now, I was expecting him to fight me back, lower my supplies, and then have his team log in, but I guess he just wasn't cut out for it. So I went hopping around, carrying on PKing, and I got on this South Road Warrior who started taking me east. Oh no! So I'm guessing that guy I attacked and Max got a little bit angry, so he called 30 of his friends in Max to kill me. I'm all the way east, I've already been lowered a little bit. They have a guy, they have guys in Ancestral and with Hostas to time the refreezes, and they have people to full TV me. I'm with one of my friends, the Purple Dot, on my minimap right now, and I'm hoping I can get a box with him. Oh no. A little bit diddy dead as fuck? I don't know, we'll see bro, we'll see. Okay, that's a fat skin. Oh dear. They're gonna get hostas off as well. Okay, that's a nice freeze, I'll give me some running distance. World is 339. That's a 40 volatile through prey. Standard. Bro, I'm getting cooked. Okay. Faith and God, come down with me, please. No one down? Jimmy, got it? Thank you. Do I donate? Despite them full TVing me on about 8 brews and 350 mil risk, all I had to do was go down the ladder at the same time as my friend. They all tried spam clicking me, but I got the box off and I managed to live. If you guys enjoyed that escape, make sure you are subscribed to the channel because I really enjoy PKing this setup and I think I'm going to release a full video PKing in it. The only issue is I have to risk about 370 mil every time I go out in it. So you guys want to see that video, leave a like on this one and comment down below. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video, which is probably going to be a PvP but hardcore iron that one. Peace out, guys.